Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Karshina with Verse Films Productions and this is Screamtober. We're doing a video a day for 31 days up into Halloween. Let's see if your favorite is on the list. Let's go. Thanks for joining in on our Screamtober all month long. This week is our superhero horror week. So let's start this off with one of the best superheroes in the swamp. Government agents, scientists, soldiers, master criminals, secret formulas. After a violent incident with a special chemical, a research scientist, played by actor Ray Wise, is turned into a swamp plant monster. We have iconic director Wes Craven, the great actress Adrian Barbeau, a great actor David Hess, and the composer Harry Manfredini. How can a horror fan watch this and not be in some kind of heaven? Swamp Thing is a different film by Wes Craven, based on the DC Comics. This film was shot way before Wes started his road to riches with A Nightmare on Elm Street fame. Uh-huh. Here it comes. This 1982 creature feature, where the same mastermind is also behind such disturbing horror classics as The Hills Have Eyes and Last House on the Left. There goes the neighborhood. Dr. Alec Holland, hidden away in the depths of a murky swamp, is trying to create a new species, a combination of animal and plant capable of adapting and thriving in the harshest conditions. Unfortunately, he becomes subject of his own creation and is transformed. Arcane, the villain of the story, desperate for the formula, attempts to capture the swamp thing. The comic book legend lives. This reminded me of the 1950s science fiction horror films with its primitive dialogue, hokey action scenes, and laughable makeup for the monsters. Oh man, does this look bad as time goes on and we have been treated to 40 years of great special effects since this was made. What makes this more attractive to watch than those 50s films, however, are great swamp photography, Adrian Barbeau's body, and a story that moves fast. Barbeau plays Alice Cable, a love interest for the Swamp Thing. She appears to be only in this to show off her massive chest. The appearance of Adrian Barbeau shows you why she was a mainstay in American horror films during the late 70s to early 80s. However, it's pretty harmless fun. Very tame compared to the horror movies of the past generation regarding gore and profanity. It's also pretty tame for a Wes Craven directed film. Even if you've never heard of the DC character of the same name, you can see every twist and turn coming straight from the opening scenes. There was a time when comic book fans would salivate at the mere mention of a big screen or small screen adaptation of their beloved characters leaving the page and becoming live action movies. Even low budget quickies were cause for anticipation. The rewards, however, were usually not that rewarding. Swamp Thing came about in 1982, about 10 years after the popular cult comic from Lynn Wayne and Bernie Wrightson. Wrightson's artistic style was a perfect fit for the swampy, atmospheric, and offbeat character and was an instant hit. Louis Jordan placed a suave villain as well as anybody could. David Hess, last house on the left of fame, plays a despicable henchman. And lastly, how this scores a PG rating with three topless women is beyond me. Not a masterpiece by any means, but still an entertaining film. After all, Swamp Thing is the superhero of the hour fighting against evil corporations and unjust villainy. The comic book legend lives. 